This is a video response to Persephone66. Her video is, the customer is not always right, parentheses, P-E-D-O, and parentheses. I don't know what that means. I thought it was about pedophilia, so I'm glad it's not that. Dear Persephone, your perceptions of what's going on, it's hard to say perceptions after you say Persephone. Your perceptions of what's going on are accurate and valid in my experience. I have no scientific data to back this up. And frankly, I think it's partly the influence of the internet and the bullying and abuse that seems to be allowed by this anonymous culture that we've raised. And of course, as you know, a lot of us who have worked or do work in retail are subjected to a lot of hit and run behavior in that the customer gets to get away with stuff and we can do nothing to protect ourselves from it. If we try, we could get fired. And it's pretty anonymous in many cases. I don't, in a hotel, not so much. You actually might know somebody's name. But of course, if you're working as a cashier or something, you just pretty much get stuck with whatever crap rolls your way. I noticed about 10 years or more ago when I first began to have to shop at Walmart, and I say have to shop because being a low-income person without transportation, sometimes the only option is to shop at Walmart. But I noticed how customers are treated. It's like being in jail. We are automatically suspects. We are to do all the work for ourselves. We are to buy products in packaging constructed to keep us from shoplifting, but which actually can damage the goods by opening the package. Also, for something like, okay, say you want to buy a radio, you can't listen to the radio before you take it home and find out it's a piece of junk. So you can't test product. But I also noticed things like customer service, the knee-jerk response to call security on people for the mildest, mildest of assertions of personal rights. So we have been trained as a culture to understand that we as consumers are dangerous, suspect, probably thieves and probably liars. And this can't help but have some sort of subconscious impact on us and create an environment of every person for themselves. There have always been people who will cheat and shoplift and so on. Of course, there have always been those people. What worries me is I haven't seen any public place where this sort of chaos, not even anarchy, chaos, is just rampant. A friend and I went out to a not inexpensive restaurant this weekend in Albuquerque. And I was amazed. At, it was a beautifully appointed restaurant. It was just gorgeous. I was amazed at how slovenly the customers looked. They looked like they just cleaned out their garage or just woken up. Some of them were wearing pajama bottoms even and slippers. The children were just running and screaming and throwing things. And walking back from the buffet, three times I had to block a child like it was a football game just to make it back with my food there was a table full of children now I give them credit they sat as far back in the restaurant as they could but the, ch the children weren't at the table they were running around back there screaming throwing forks throwing food and the mother's way of controlling the children of course the men at the table did nothing it was up to the woman to do the work the mother's way of controlling things was to get up, scream louder than the children, threaten them, and start hitting them. So I think it's I it's psychology thing where you put too many rats in a cage and they start raping each other and stealing food from each other and fighting to the death over food dishes. And I think there's just too many rats in the cage, Persephone. And I agree with you that it might be a good plan for you to find another job start looking don't quit this job until you have something else of course i think i'd rather be a trash collector than work with human beings besides 
then you get all the cool trash and take it home and clean it up and fix it up and then you got f cool free stuff so i'll see you soon and fix that buzz on your microphone jack soak a wooden toothpick in rubbing alcohol until it gets a little bit mushy so i'd say like leave it overnight in a little bit of alcohol and then very very gently clean around in the jack you probably have a little piece of grit or dust in there and it's causing a hum so take good care of yourself bye bye